name is Siobhan Kasim, and I'm here today because my brother's been in jail in the UAE for eight months for posting a comedy video on YouTube. So Hi, this is Katie Nelson with The Uptake. I'm here talking to Shervan Qasim. His brother Shez has been in detention in the UAE. Um, they grew up in Dubai as well as in Woodbury, Minnesota. Shez, his brother, went to Woodbury High and later graduated from the University of Minnesota. Um, so Shervan is going to talk to us a little bit about his brother, what's going on, and how we can help uh, his brother's case. My brother is a, is, is a smart, bright person. Um, He's just a funny guy. He's the he's the he's a comedian in the family, um, and he's been working in Dubai since 2007. Um, as he he currently he was working for a subsidiary of Emirates Airline as a business development specialist um, from 2007 up until March 2013, when he joined Price Waterhouse Coopers in Dubai as a business consultant in their aviation practice. My parents are from Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. They moved to Dubai. He, they moved to Dubai in 1976. We moved to St. Paul in 1985, and we lived there until 1986 when we moved again to Dubai. Um, our, we've had family in, in Minnesota since the 70s, so we've always considered Minnesota our home. Uh, Shez and my sister went to did their undergraduate uh, studies at the University of Minnesota. I went to the University of Minnesota Law School. So my brother and a bunch of his friends just did a mockumentary doing a mock chronicle of these of these teenagers uh, and they posted it on YouTube in October of 2012. Six months later in April of 2013 uh, he was called to uh, uh, the police station um, and he was uh, he's been detained since then uh, for posting this video. Um, he was accused of threat threatening the national security of the United Arab Emirates for posting this video and He's been in prison for eight months without bail, uh, without a conviction. Uh, he was in detention for five months before they actually charged him with endangering national security. Um, and we don't know to this day how his stupid comedy video threatens the national security of the United Arab Emirates. He's been in court um, on eight occasions. Okay. Uh, the first occasion was on September 9th, uh, where the judge asked him if uh, he wanted to plead guilty or not guilty. He pled not guilty. The second time was on September 30th, where his defense attorneys in the UAE were allowed to submit a memo in his defense, and that was the only thing they could they could do. They were they, they weren't allowed to make oral arguments, uh, as we as we expect them to make in this country. Um, and he was asked to make a statement as to his involvement in the video. So he. He said, yes, I, I, I made the video. Uh, and that was the extent of the defense. After that hearing on uh, September 30th, um, he, he was told that there would be a final judgment in the case on October 28th. Since on October 28th, the final judgment was postponed. And since that postponed on, uh, on October 28th, it has been postponed six times. On the fourth occasion that Chez was taken to, uh, taken to court expecting a judgment, um, the judge f appeared and said that he had only just requested, he had requested a translation of the video from the police. Now this was seven months into his detention, and this was the first time that a judge had requested a translation to be made by the police. Because this, he's been threatened with national security, um, he's, he's being held in a, in a maximum security federal prison in the desert outside of Abu Dhabi, the UAE capital. So to this day, Shez has not had a private meeting with his own attorneys. He has lost a lot of weight. Um, he's, the last time I saw him, he was stick thin. And it's very difficult for us to give him things, simple things to pass the time. Uh, it's been really difficult for us to get him books, um, uh, paper and pencil for him to draw or write on. It's just been really difficult. So what we are really thankful for for the support that we've received uh, for Shez. And what the public can do to help is to contact their elected representatives, to contact Shez's elected representatives, uh, to contact the U.S. State Department, um, and just urge them to, to do everything they need to do to secure his release. We, initially, we, we, we wanted to have him home by the 4th of July. Then we wanted to have him home by Thanksgiving, and that hasn't happened. So right now, we would, we, we would really like him to be released and, and home for Christmas. That's what my mother really wants. Thank you for talking.